What's the difference between assumptions and presumptions? This is the video response back to you, brother Mike Mike 8901. Man, love your email. And this is kind of a notification video for tonight. There will be a live chat tonight. Um, I'm gonna probably come on around about 7.30 Dallas, Texas time. Um, I wanna deal with Psalms 139 and then we'll have some real talk. Um, but the reason why I wanna respond back in this short video, um, old folks used to say, when you make an assumption out of everything, when you assume things, you make an ass out of yourself. And I've been hearing that all my life. And there's so much truth, truth to that. Um, because a lot of people that don't know you, they assume things about you. They may know of you, but don't know you. Um, and, and that happens a lot in this life. And people assume that you're a Christian. Or they may assume that you're a Muslim because you're wearing a bow tie. They may assume many different things, assumptions. Well, I just thought that instead of asking and getting, you know, questions answered, a lot of people rather assume. And that's why I stick out a little different um, than a lot of people because I recognize truth when I hear truth, no matter who's saying it. I know truth, and with spiritual discernment, um, I always can listen at different people, regardless of how others don't like them. You know, I've learned one thing in this life. I don't base, you know, what somebody else tell me off an individual, you know, so in so many ways. I check that person out for myself. Because if I was to listen at so many people that didn't like the person that they was talking about, I would just... Don't I, I would just dislike the president because of what they said. But I found out in my life there are a lot of people that so many people dislike that I love because they was real. And they kept kept it real all the time and told the truth. So a lot of people are okay when, when this, you know, old folks will say if you can't stand the heat, you know, get your ass out the kitchen. <laughs> And somebody gonna get mad at me for using the word ass again. I love you. Hey, y'all just stay mad at JT. But if you can't stand the heat, get your ass out the kitchen. And it's just, I don't know how many people are gonna continue to continue to live their life going on assuming things instead of asking, hey, my brother or my sister. Why did you do this? Or why did you say this? Or why are you like this? See, a lot of people stereotype. Oh, here we go. Man, you, but you was dressed up like, you look thuggish. You, you was dressed one way and then lust can be deceiving. He looked like a thug, but he wasn't a thug. Hmm. He looked like he wasn't rich. He looked like he was poor. I assume because the car you drove that, hmm. Well, my sister, I assume because the way you come to work every day, I just figured you didn't have, you got to be careful with assumptions. And a lot of people get checked. And, 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 and they get mad when they get checked because somebody let them know, you don't know me. I'm just responding back to you. To your to your email, brother. You you know who you are. <coughs> Excuse me. And and I always like to keep it real with people, man. I got I got a lot of love in my heart, man. And it's just so many different topics, man. Um, I know on my page, a lot of people call me controversial. <laughs> you know, I, a lot of people say you think you be keeping it real. You ain't you you this Uncle Tom or you this you that. You know, I I've been on here long enough to know how to deal with people. And I tell people all the time, I don't run off no skirt either, neither one easy. You should know that about me by now. I was doing this before YouTube got started. Before YouTube was even on air, live, whatever, live stream, whatever, before the live stream. 
whatever YouTube came out, I was already doing this before YouTube. So keep that in mind. And this is a message also to the haters. I appreciate y'all. Keep hating. Keep me elevated, man, on my toes, man. I, I don't even know if I would still be in this walk without haters. I love y'all, man. Y'all just don't realize. It's just, it's a blessing to have haters. <laughs> so, and I say that out of love. So, when you assume things about people, what do they say about you? Shalom.